this is a super easy, smooth transition that you can use on your next reel if you don't want to use those boring slide transitions. If you're new here, my name is Kev, and I've made over 500 DaVinci Resolve tutorials so far. And I've also developed some of the best tools for DaVinci Resolve. And if you want to check them out, check out the all-out bundle that I just released, and you can also get a free desk mat when you get that bundle. Let's start with the video. So we're going to use an adjustment layer for these. Go into Effects, Adjustment Layers, drop these right here. And this is going to be like around two seconds long. We're going to open these in Fusion. And now here we're going to need a few things. First, we're going to need the background. In this case, you can do whatever you want for the background. We can use a white color or a solid background or add a gradient or add any textures. This is really up to you. Now, the next thing we need is a mask. So we're going to add a rectangle, set this to 1, 1, and then set this to 0.1. That's what's going to be the end result. We're going to go to frame 12 and set this to be 0.15. I think that's a good amount. We're going to create a keyframe. Now we're going to go to 0 and we're going to set this to 0. Now we're going to go to the spline tool right here and we can already copy these to create the outro animation right here. So we're going to do this. Hold these together, hold control, and now we can reverse this by using this button right here. All right, close this plan tool, and we have our first section. All right, the next thing we need is a transform. The first transform is going to do the scale or the size animation. So for this, at frame 12, we're going to bring the size to like 0.9-ish. This is all really up to you. You don't have to follow these exact numbers. Now we're going to go to zero and set this back to one. All right. Now we're going to do the same thing that we did. And we're going to copy that and set these to be all the way at the end right here. And make sure we reverse these like we did on the other one. So we have the intro of that clip right there. All right. Now we're going to add one more transform. And we're going to have this slide in happen from 12 to 27. So we're going to do these key from right here on the slide on the center. And at 27, bring these all the way to negative 0.5. And we're going to set the edges to wrap. And then we have that transition. Now, what sells the effect a little bit better is if you add motion blur. So we're going to add a motion blur. A little bit like that and we can copy the settings right here and add that same to this size as well just play around and mix them up and you can do that so in the mask as well if you want to now we're going to open this blind tool here select everything press f then t and you can play around with the ease in and out of all of them at the same time or if you want to adjust them individually you can do that as well so let's check that out pretty clean and now you can add whatever you want right here in the background to add more elements into the transition. For example, this DaVinci Resolve logo. And just like a way to add some subtle branding of your personal brand or your name or whatever you want to highlight, you can have that there. So it's a pretty cool and easy trick to do. And the best part is that if you want to reuse these or modify these, you can go to your master's bins right here, create a folder or a bin with transitions or set these up to be reels transitions whatever and then just drag and drop this right here reel one and now you can drag and drop these into any project now if you're not creating a reel but you want to use a transition that's like these i actually adapted these for a horizontal one and i think it looks pretty interesting let me show you so we're going to go to this timeline copy that i did and i use that same transition well that's a little bit of a spoiler already but let me show you. But that's what I did. Now to make it work so that we have this little pause right here for whatever other animation or element or text, like I have here, these text effects, uh, to work and have the little pause, you need to do things a little bit different. So I'm going to show you how it looks in Fusion. It's pretty much the same right here, the build up for the actual, for the actual transition, the build up is pretty much the same right here. Now, the duration for these is a little bit longer, right? Now, we have that first transform that has this size. that just becomes smaller, and that's at frame 12. And now we have this first one, which is the slide transition. 
uh, and we slide these out for like, I think 20 frames maybe. Yeah, 20 frames is a slide out. Let me see if I can put these on screen. We only have this one. Okay, yeah. And now we copy this transform, but we're gonna do the same thing here at the end and then bring this from the other one into this scene. So it's the exact same build up, up, to, up until this point. And we have this first transform that just slides out and we don't have the edges as wrap because otherwise we'll just have that repetition right there. So we have two of them. One of them comes goes out and one of them comes in. And then I've also added this drop shadow just to sell the effect a little bit better. Now for the element that we add in the middle on the background that you used or the background element in the tutorial earlier, this one was at the bottom. So if you get a little bit confused, then that's it, right? It was like this, but it's the same thing. So what you want to do is connect the element that you want to showcase into this background in an automatic merge node will be created like this. Now, the other thing that I did here is that I added these text effects, which is a template. I don't know why it didn't come in as a group. This is one of the 35 pre-animated titles that are part of the text effects pack. So if you're interested in adding animations to your videos without having to create them all from scratch, make sure to check out the text effects pack. I'm gonna leave a link in the description. All right, so then what you wanna do is go here and find text effects. You can preview whatever effect you want to use. Just drag and drop these. And then we're going to need to get rid of this media out, right? Now, we're going to connect this drop shadow to this one. Now, there's one thing that happens here. Since all these text effects are set up to start at one, you have to do something a little bit different, which is why I added this time stretcher. So we have this transition happening right here from frame 12. So maybe at around this mark right here, I want the text animation to start. So what I can do here is we we'll add a time stretcher. We set the key from here to be at zero. And then let's say you go 30 frames or 40 frames forward, 61. And then you set this up to be 40. So what this does is that it makes it time or the title that you added or whatever animation you've added to start at that point right there. And it doesn't actually start at zero anymore. So now what you have to do is just preview these with both of them selected. And let's see. Now we have that in a horizontal timeline. So yeah, that's a little bit of a variation that you can do and add to if you're working on a talking head video or a tutorial like this one where you want your elements to be a little bit more polished or have a little bit of an extra touch and not just use the normal slide transition or push transition or just a normal overlay transition. Uh, it looks really clean and I really like it and I'm probably gonna use it a lot more in the future. And when I get more ideas for variations for these, I'll probably do that as well. Don't forget to check out the All Out Bundle if you wanna get a free desk mat with your purchase of the Suave tools. I don't think anybody else has done something like these and you get the desk mat for free and free shipping worldwide. So it's a win, 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 win because your editing workflow will be a lot better and you will just be driven to create more when you're using this desk mat. <laughs> All right, that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.